Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. Hi, I'm Melanie Friedlander, and welcome to my Terrible Take, joining you every Sunday courtesy of Steelers Depot. While a lot of Pittsburgh Steelers fans were expecting an offensive lineman to join the team in the second round of the 2021 draft, it was Penn State tight end Pat Fryermuth who got the call. Based on the pre-draft work and post-draft film study by my guys at Steelers Depot, it sounds like the Penn State product could easily take over as starter for the next eight seasons, something we've been missing badly since our beloved Heath Miller retired. There is a small lingering concern, however, in that Fryermuth had shoulder surgery after playing only four games in the 2020 NCAA season. Will he be ready for rookie minicamp? And more importantly, will he be 100% for training camp? In a recent interview, Fryermuth claimed that his shoulder is fully healthy and he has been cleared for full contact. Okay, but players always say that, right? Let's take a look at the injury timeline real quickly. The tight end injured his right shoulder in the second game of last season against Ohio State on Halloween, and then played the next two games with a shoulder harness despite having ongoing issues with his right arm. You gotta respect how hard he fought to help his team despite Penn State being off to their worst losing season ever. They started the year at 0-5. In his final game against Nebraska on November 14th, he impressively managed seven catches for 113 yards, but was clearly hurting. He finally underwent MRI after the game and was ruled out for the season. His shoulder surgery was done after Thanksgiving. He was far enough along in his recovery by his pro day on March 25th to run routes and show off his receiving skills, but did not do individual testing, especially involving weights. So can Fryermuth be the long-term solution at tight end with his shoulder repair? Let's take a quick look at the medical literature. A review of athletes invited to the NFL Combine between 2012 and 2015 were reviewed with a focus on players who had a history of labral repair and postoperative MRI results available for review. 10% of all athletes who showed up at the Combine had undergone shoulder labral repair procedures prior to the Combine, and a full third of those had recurrent labral tears seen on MRI. Sounds bad, right? Not so fast. Looking prospectively at participation on the NFL level, there was actually no significant difference in games played or started for athletes with recurrent labral injuries, meaning that even if they found a recurrent tear on the MRI, those athletes performed at the same level for as many years as those athletes that had never had surgery at all. By the way, did you know that Dave Bryan's most favorite tight end, George Kittle, has been playing with a labral injury and a shoulder brace since 2018 and has absolutely no plans to undergo surgery? Then again, the 49ers star doesn't have the same injury or the same symptoms that our new tight end did. Anyway, I think Pat's going to be just fine for training camp, and I expect to see him performing at a high level this season. I'll be taking a deeper dive into Pat Fryermuth's surgery and what we can expect for his recovery. Look for that on SteelersDepot.com, as well as injury reviews for all the players drafted by the Steelers in 2021 over the next few months. Thanks for joining me for my terrible take. You can follow me on at Girl Surgeon on Twitter. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Tuesday and Friday.